In this lesson, we're going to be interacting with a SQL database. So SQL database is one of those crucial pieces for a lot of web applications. Uh, so let's take a closer look at what XAMPP has to offer. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. So going into the user panel here, we also see that if we go to localhost PHP MyAdmin, we get access to PHP MyAdmin. Uh, so we're able to access it and create new tables here and databases. So if I want to create a new uh, database, I can create a database called test. I'll give it a table with four columns of test. And it's as easy as this to create a database. So variable characters, integers, and of course, uh, this is just similar to what you would be doing uh, if you were setting this up on your server as well. So I'm just doing some defaults here, variable character 255, and we'll give it three characters there and we can save it. Uh, so this is uh, within PHP by admin. It gives you all of the resources that you need in order to set up databases. Uh, we can run SQL queries as well. So we can see the results of SQL queries here. We can search the database. We can insert into the database. And as well, we can export the database. So if you are working with a database and you need that on your local machine or vice versa, you can always export and import. So if your web server it has PHP MyAdmin installed on it, so you can go to that within your control panel and you can export your files, download them, and then go ahead and import them into your local machine. So go importing it into your local database and that way you could work with those. Or if you're configuring and setting up your database here locally, you can always go and you can export it. And then at that point, you can go online to your web server and import it. Uh, so this is the basics of PHP MyAdmin, and of course there's a whole lot more to it, uh, but it is really too easy to work with when it comes to your XAMPP settings. And you can see here that if you go to localhost amps, you can set that up and you can launch uh, PHP MyAdmin directly from uh, the control panel there, the end user panel. Also, if you want to set up a new database, it just simply brings you over to the PHP MyAdmin location to set up a database. We also have an option here to set up passwords. So by default, the SQL password is root, and by default, the password, the default root password is MySQL. Of course, if you're accessing these within your script, make sure that you write these down and make sure that you do have root and MySQL as the password in order to access your database from your application. And in the next lesson, we're going to be taking a closer look at SQL Lite and how we can manage SQL Lite. So that's coming up in the next lesson.